I especially and humbly pay my respects to the elders of this nation, both past and present, and who are connected to this beautiful and magnificent land, its waters and its skies. I would also like to acknowledge and welcome any other Aboriginal people from other nations who may be with us here today. And I've just learned of a new nation called Robo Nation. in partnership with the U.S. Office of Naval Research, the Next Generation Technologies Fund, and the Australian Department of Defense uh, are co-organizers of the 2022 Robot X Challenge here in Australia. Uh, the Robot X Challenge is a international competition for students focused on maritime autonomy. Uh, we have 20 teams represented, uh, countries from Singapore and Japan and Taiwan, from many schools from the United States, from South America and from Europe as well. The WAM-V is a, a platform uh, which is a double pontoon that all of the student teams use to build their autonomous maritime vehicles for the Robot X competition. Many of the teams also have an aerial component which is operating in conjunction with their WAM-V, uh, their surface vessel. Every team is provided with the WAM-V, which is basically two pontoons in a frame. And so from there, each team has got to develop a motor system and motor controller system. Every year there's a new rule book with different challenges. So they have to go through that rule book and see what the challenges are and then decide on appropriate centers and motors that will fit those challenges. The teams are evaluated on a number of components, a video, website, a paper, and their their actual performance. Each is meant to teach um, and allow the students to get that real world experience. We are very fortunate to be joined on site by many partners and sponsors, including Yamaha Motor Australia and Yamaha Motor Company. We also have representatives from Defence Force Recruiting, TALIS, Australia, Kinetic, who have all contributed in addition to the organisers to make this event possible. Autonomous technology is kind of the necessity consideration of the people's mindset. So we have lots of the mobility products motorcycle, marine usage, air. So everything we focus on to the how to operate the product in a better way. And also what's kind of is a feedback from the product to human beings, the operator's point of view. So full autonomous technology means you have to do without any hands, any help. But on the other hand, we have in between of the full autonomous and today, kind of semi-control. For me, I've been involved in institutional robotics for many years, um, ever since primary school. And coming into university, I definitely found a, a, a team where their mission statement definitely um, interested me. Uh, their primary goal and their long-term stretch goal was to deploy a fully uh, autonomous maritime system, uh, both a drone, uh, surface vehicle and underwater vehicle uh, to help solve a very expensive and very dangerous deep sea and oil re re related um, kind of uh, operations. So coming to competition for RoboNation isn't a simple task. It takes months and months and months of planning. Yeah, so I think the technology will take society to a better place, somewhere that is safer um, and easier for humans, something that takes less thought and less uh, physical interaction to get something done. So with boats being able to park themselves autonomously or dock autonomously, if you will, um, that just makes it less stressful and safer inside of marinas and moving elsewhere. It helps with all types of autonomous systems on, off, and under the water. Um, the environment's a big thing for me. So the reason I actually got into engineering in the first place was it's a, literally a degree to skill set to help you solve problems. Essentially all the systems that we have in the world, they're all reliant on some form of technology. So for me, I know that I want to get into the manufacturing sector because obviously that's where a lot of goods and services come 
inter intertwined, but that's also where a lot of waste can be generated. So being able to mitigate that or re reduce their effect on the environment is kind of how both mechanical and electrical can kind of combine to make a better outcome. The work that Team Bumblebee is working on is definitely exposing me to a lot in the robotics field, specifically in autonomous maritime vehicles. But of course, there is an extension to all different kinds of autonomous systems. Uh, I think it's definitely opened my eyes up to definitely what is possible and what is far outside my realm of exposure as a mechanical engineer in school. Um, I think it's definitely continued to fuel my passion for robotics and, I definitely, and definitely spurred me on to possibly pursue robotics as a career in the future. One thing about this project is that it's given me a real hands-on experience which my courses wouldn't give me otherwise. So for one, it's going to give me that experience for future jobs. And on top of that, there's a lot of teamwork aspects that I've learned from this project. Working in the team, organising team projects, I think is a really important skill that would be hard to learn, so I think it's been really helpful in that sense. So the robot X, the focus point is how you are going to achieve autonomous tasks on the water, in the air. So that is going to be a perfect fit for the Yamaha product portfolio. That's my first impression I got. Number two, how we can work together with industry or organization. Number three, what's the trend will be. So this event is lots of the future engineers for my corporation or for my industry. The competitor is not the enemy. Competitor is your future friend because you are living in the same space. You are targeting the same things. So competitor is your real supporter for your life. Transit system. Oh! <laughs>